Hey guys, what's up? I can't believe December is over, Christmas is over. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. But uh, today's video is going to be a favorites video, December favorites. So I have quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to try not to ramble and just get through them. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing right. Everything will be linked up down below uh, if I have links. And I'll still write things down below in the description box for you guys to make it easy. Let's go ahead and start with my biggest favorite of the month. It's this little thing right here. This is my vlogging camera, but along with my vlogging camera is this case. This is a leather pink case and it's made by Mega Gear. I will link it off down below. I got both of the camera and the case at Amazon on Amazon and I love it because it's a full around case. It comes with a strap and basically you just undo these little uh, clips to kind of get it out. So you kind of get it out, but the case is still hooked on. So you can leave it hooked on. Sometimes I just take a picture like this, or you can unclip the bottom. And it's kind of held together with like this piece that you can still put in your camera if you want, or in your stand. So this is the Sony A5100, uh, I believe is what it's called. I'll link it off down below. But I got it off of Amazon and it is such an awesome camera. I use it to vlog. I'm starting to take a lot of like my Instagram pictures and definitely my product pictures with this. And I absolutely love it. I love it. Thank you, Christmas. Thank you, husband. Um, it is amazing because it has this flip screen so I can vlog with it. Also, it's just it has some touch screen features, but it's just it's a really good camera, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I always have it on hand. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's totally worth it. It was like 600 bucks or something like that, maybe 700. But it was definitely worth it. And you can definitely, if you guys are on YouTube and you want to start a camera that does everything, you can do videos with this and vlog and do pictures with this and do Instagram. So this is just such a good camera and I absolutely love it. And I definitely recommend getting a case like this just to keep it safe because it does have like a lens to it. Um, so yeah, that's definitely my number one favorite of like the whole month. These KL polishes are fantastic. You guys saw it in my haul, um, but uh, if it's not up already, it will be up my part two to Cyber Monday haul. But this is the KL polishes. Um, Kathy Lights made these polishes. And this is her brand and I love polishes. I'm obsessed with them. I have a big bucket of polishes and then I have a big bag of polishes to go along with that. Um, I love nail polishes and doing my nails. Today I have the color Zoe on, which is a super popular and a bestseller um, on her website, which obviously of course it is because it's like a blushing pink color. I feel like it fits a lot of different skin shades. But um, I also have this one here, which is called Broccoli and Chocolate, a beautiful, beautiful brown. Then <laughs> this one, Caramello, which is such a unique color. I wish that this was like a shade lighter, like it was brighter um, that wasn't this exact shade but it's still a beautiful shade I still really like it I just wish that it was one step lighter anywho then there's snickerdoodle which is a beautiful like cream color that seems a little bit on the cooler side to me but I really like these polishes I love their brush they remind me a lot of the wet n wild mega last brush except they're a little bit more on the curved side like they're not so square, they're more curved and they're thicker. Um, and so I really like these polishes. The formula is awesome. The colors are super opaque with like the first swipe and the brush is awesome. So, and if you like Kathleen Lights, go check these out. These are awesome. Next, let's talk about my favorite fragrance is this little baby. I got this last year. It was a Christmas present or a birthday present from my friend Ingrid. I love you Ingrid if you're watching I love you um, and she actually gave it to me late like a couple months late so I wore this like in the spring and summertime and then I put it away I'm like okay gotta put it away for winter time and now it's winter time and I'm rocking it this is the fresh sparkling snow um, body lotion from Bath and Body Works and then it comes with a fine fragrance mist and it smells so incredibly good like I bathe in this like twice a day. I'm not even lying. And I absolutely love it. You can't even tell because this haven't, hasn't even gone down at all. It's such a fine mist and this smells so incredibly good. Let me tell you what it says. It says it's iced pear, frozen melon, winter apple, snowdrop blossom, and frosted musk. 
I think it's the musk in there that I like. Very musky. I really like it. But uh, yeah, this is such, such a good little pair. I love this little duo. All right, let's skip from that to some makeup. This is the Mare Luminizer, and uh, I absolutely love it. I got it in that first Cyber Monday haul, and I think it's so, so gorgeous. I think that this is a really beautiful universal highlight where a lot of people with different skin tones, skin shades, is going to like this. So I did give one of these away to my sister-in-law, and I'm wearing it right here on this side. I just used it, I just used my fingers, so I'm going to kind of add it to this side here and a little bit on my nose. I don't know if you can see, but this is the highlight I have on today. Really, really gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of a goldish, peachish, I don't know how to explain it. Really, really, really beautiful. That's what's on right there. And I think it's just really, really gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. Let's talk about this concealer. This is the concealer I have on today to cover my under eye circles. This is the Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. And I am super impressed with it. I'm super impressed with the coverage that it gives me. Lately, um, my little baby, my little angel baby, isn't being an angel. And he's teething, like teeth are popping out every which way on his face, you know, around his eye. They're popping every which way in his mouth. And uh, it's crazy at night. It turns into... He's an angel in the day, and then at night he just turns into this like. No. 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 Anyways, this seriously saves my life because it 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 just really helps with the under eye circles. I don't know how it does it. I feel like it's thinner, and I'm impressed with the coverage it gives me for the texture that it is. It kind of is a little bit moussey to me. Like I feel like it's a little bit moose on the moussey side. The one I have is light medium. And that's what I have on today covering my under eye circles. I feel like it lasts really nicely and it doesn't crease or look cakey when I add powder to it. Um, so I really like how this one wears throughout the day. So if you haven't tried this, I suggest to give it a try. Also, this is the Garnier Skin, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This one is for all skin types, even sensitive. Um, it says it's an all-in-one, removes makeup and cleanses and fresh, refreshes, refreshes? refreshes. Um, you don't need to rinse it. It's for face, lips, and eyes. It's no oil, no alcohol, no fragrance. So um, I really like it. I got it this last month. It really does take away all of my makeup. It just does it so easily. And I particularly like this because my problem area isn't eyeliner, isn't foundation, isn't... I guess the matte lip, liquid lips are kind of a hard thing but um, mostly eyelash glue eyelash glue gets stuck to the base of my actual natural lashes um, in that lash line and it's super hard to take off and whenever I try to pull it off my fingers I just end up taking out lashes just not really nice but with this I just like swipe two or three times and basically all the eyelash glue is gone um, I have gotten this in my eye maybe one time and it stung initially like for a second but then it went away like Initial contact, it stung, but then it went away. And it doesn't sting my eyes since. I didn't feel like I needed to rinse. Um, it did no harm. So, uh, and I have really sensitive eyes. This is also dermatology tested, it says here on the bottle, if you are wondering. But uh, this does get everything off, even the liquid matte lipsticks, the stains that are really hard. I find that it just takes it off so much easier than sitting there and scrubbing your face raw. So I really, really like this, um, and I definitely do recommend it. And it is at the drugstore um, for like $12, I want to say. So since we're talking about lashes, this is the CoverGirl the Super Sizer. Uh, for me, CoverGirl mascaras just really work. I love them. They do great on my lashes. They're one of my, I feel like CoverGirl makes one of the best uh, mascaras at the drugstore. My personal opinion, because I just, it's always a hit with them, you know, um, and this one is no different. I really like it. I really like the brush as well. It's an interesting brush, but it's a brush that's thin enough that it gives me like length on my top lashes and it's really easy to use on my bottom lashes as well. So uh, I like that. It's very rare when I like something for my top and bottom. Now, here we go. This is the probably my favorite lippy of the whole month. I've tried so many different lippies. I've done so many different looks 
and uh, this one for some reason this month is just rocking my world. This is the Holiday Hugs lip gloss from Philosophy. You can probably find it around this time, like the holiday season. Um, I don't ever see it any other time. I don't know, maybe you do, but this one I like, and I'm not a big fan of lip glosses, you guys. You'll never catch me using lip gloss. If I ever use a lip gloss, it's probably this one. It has a little bit of a pink tint to it, but it's very, very clear, but it's not thin. Like it's a thicker lip gloss, but it's not sticky. It just glides on so smoothly. I really like this lip gloss. It's a really, really good one. And it's probably one of the only ones that I've actually kept. All the other ones I'll like throw away because I'm not a big fan of lip gloss, but I like this one. This is the Pears Transparent Soap. And the reason I'm talking about this is because soap brows is a thing now. The thing on Instagram, the thing on YouTube. And um, I tried it this last month, and it's kind of what I did to my eyebrows right now. I use the soap technique. Um, and this is basically just a transparent soap. This one's the Pears brand. So this is what it looks like. And um, basically, you need any transparent soap. Um, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on this. Let me know if you want me to. I'm not a big fan of the smell of this one, but uh, it's good to do your soap brows with. And the thing that I like about soap brows is that I feel like it makes my eyebrows look even more natural whenever I do this. So whenever I use the eyebrow pencil over the soap on my eyebrows, it makes my, it just makes the eyebrow pencil apply and look more like hair on my eyebrows because like this half of my eyebrows are bare. I have no hair there and so, but you can never tell whenever I do it like this. Like it's so much easier to make hair like strokes and then I blend it out and then it just looks really feathery and I feel like whenever you do feathery eyebrows it looks more natural. It's super silly when you hear soap eyebrows, but it's very cost effective and it really does work. Also, let me mention one more thing. I like using the eyebrow, the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, and I told you guys before, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, that the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, like in the bald spots that I have, it rubs off really, really easy. At the end of the night, half of my eyebrow is usually off. And so um, whenever I do this, I still use that eyebrow pencil, the e.l.f. one, and I notice that it makes that pencil last longer. It kind of seals it. It seals the pencil in, and um, it just makes my eyebrow last all night. Like, from day to night, like, it just lasts. And if I go to sleep with it, I'll wake up, and it'll still be there. And so I really, really like that because it's so inexpensive, and it just makes makes pencils that maybe aren't the best for lasting power just last longer. So, um, these are some fragrances um, and uh, I have two here. I have the Nemet Vanilla Musk and the Amber Fragrance. These are so cute. Look at how cute these little things are. These were sent to me um, for free. Just letting you know they were sent to me but I'm including them in this favorites video because I really like them and I'm super impressed with them. And they're alcohol free, which is really impressive that they're alcohol free. But um, look how cute the packaging is. It's so incredibly cute. I will link them off down below. Um, the amber one smells really good, and it, but it's kind of, it's really, really light. It's a really light, light scent. Um, if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of perfume, you're definitely gonna like this because it's really, really a light, light, light scent. But the one that I personally like the most, surprisingly, is this Vanilla Musk one. It's still really light fragrance to where it, there's not too much perfumey, um, but it still has more, like you can smell it more. So I'm gonna smell good. It's vanilla, but it's really, I don't know, It's it still smells really feminine. I don't know, it's just, it smells really, really nice. And I love to put this, when I'm not wearing the other one, um, like on my neck, I'll rub it on my neck, I'll rub it on my arms, I'll rub it like everywhere and it's not too much. It's still very light, but it's just like a pleasant smell. I don't know, I'm really impressed with these. Um, they have all different kinds of perfumes and different kinds of fragrances. I'll link them off down below. Um, this one, I believe, has been a favorite of like, some sort of movie star. I, I'm not sure I will, uh, I will insert it, but I'm really, really impressed with these little fragrances and I love trying new perfume um, and like, I don't know. 
I can't even explain. I'm the worst at explaining what this is, but man, these just smell really, really, really nice. And they're really, really cute. I have them here in my background, but the last favorites I want to talk about is uh, my background here. So my little reindeer here and uh, my little tree back here which you're not going to see anymore because Christmas is over. Um, it's time for me to get rid of those and I'm probably going to go back to the store to see what else I can put back there. But also even this candle down here and my bee over here. Can you see? Let me show you my bee. See this bee? It's so gorgeous. I got it for $7.99 at Marshalls as well as all this other stuff. So inexpensive. I thought for sure this was going to be like $12 or $15. Bucks. It's so heavy duty and it's white with some gold. I love this like rustic feel, this look. I haven't been to Marshalls since like my teenage years which is a while ago, and I really like their decor. Their decor is so beautiful and it's so inexpensive. I'm so really impressed and I'm gonna start shopping there more often. Anyways, that is it for my favorites for December. Um, I will link everything off down below. You guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing. If you're new, just hit my little face down there and it will subscribe you. Also hit the bell so that it can notify you of all my future videos because that's kind of what YouTube's doing now. Also, all my social media links are over there. Go check it out, come say hi to me. I am on Snapchat, come send me a snap. Um, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.